Hello, Tiger Mooch in your eyes. Today is October 12th, 2023, and I'm Noah. And I'm Jeremy. Now let's all please stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. Next up, National, National Day! Day. Today is of respect for cultural di diversity. Let's come together and respect everyone's cultures together. I'm here with Senora Morris. Um, do you have any information on different cultures? Oh my goodness, yes, many, many, many. Uh, first of all, Mexico, Central America, the Abel Marcos is coming up on November 1st and 2nd, and some of you may be familiar with the movie Coco. Um, that has to do with the Abel Marcos, so that's one holiday from a Spanish-speaking country and even in parts of the United States with large Hispanic populations. Do you guys celebrate the Abel Marcos? No, I don't either, um, but I've seen it celebrated before. It's really beautiful. So in Spain, there's like a festival every weekend, as you know. Uh, the Running of the Bulls takes place in July of every year. Uh, that's in Pamplona in northern Spain and um, it has a rich history and it's kind of crazy. And actually, your uh, principal, assistant principal, Mr. Cole, ran in the running of the bulls um, about 15 or 16 years ago. Maybe even longer ago than that, I can't remember exactly. But um, those are the two that stand out in my head, mostly. Oh, what about the one from Spain that we studied last year? The from Barcelona. Uh, Cagatilla? Oh, yeah. The Cagatilla. Yeah, in Barcelona, Spain. You can tell I love Spain, right? So they have um, this festival around Christmas time where uh, it's only in Catalonia, which is in northern Spain, near Barcelona, where they build um, <laughs> uh, a, a log, basically. They take a log and they make it kind of look like Santa Claus. Do you remember doing this in class? Yeah, and then kids hit it with a stick and out come gifts. I'm here. Senora Farrow. Are there any fun facts about different cultures? Yes, we have lots of fun facts for you during Hispanic Heritage Month, September 15th to October 15th. One of our fun facts is the Amazon rainforest located in South America produces 20% of the world's oxygen. And while the Amazon rainforest here is located partly in Brazil, where they speak Portuguese, there are multiple other Spanish-speaking countries um, that do have parts of the rainforest um, located in them. And then our other fun fact for you today is Chichen Itza is one of the seven wonders of the world. It's located in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. Um, there is also another Spanish-speaking country which has one of the seven wonders in the world, and that is Machu Picchu in Peru. I'm here with Do you have any um, if interesting things about your culture or others? Yeah, I'm from Uzbekistan. Uh, they're going to be the same class and same teachers for 11 years. Your teachers are not going to change, and the teachers are going to come to your room. I'm here with Alice. Hey, um, do you have any information about other cultures or I'm from Brazil, and there we have like all subjects, but we don't have all of them in the same day. Like, it's very bad. I'm from Brazil, and we have the same thing as others. Hello, Sycamore. Happy Thursday. I'm Jameson. And I'm Bryson. Here's our clubs and activities announcements. October is Down Syndrome Awareness Month. Thanks to everybody who is wearing yellow or blue to support Down Syndrome Awareness Day. Beta Club members are volunteering for the Harvest Moon Festival, who meet during Flux Bell with Miss Dorkin tomorrow. Ooh. That's Friday, October 13th, in the Language Arts Makerspace, the lower seal wing near the classroom 1210. Lockers! Yes! We get our lockers assignments during Flux this week? Yeah, but I don't have to store stuff in them till November because we don't get our locks till then. Well, I think I'm going to at least locate mine so I can store my coat. I don't want to have to carry it around anywhere. That's a great idea. Why didn't I think of that? I might store some heavy books or invaluable items like you. Thanks. Mark your calendars! Attention! All boys are trying out for 7th or 8th grade basketball. There will be an organizational meeting on Monday, October 16th during Flex Bell in the cafeteria. If you are interested, be sure to attend. The first Partners Club meeting will be right after school on Wednesday, October 18th in Mr. Hiles' classroom. Yeah. 2536. Parents need to pick up students outside the main entrance at 4, 15 p.m. October 18th is school picture retake day. Lost and found, it's all gone. After Wednesday, October yeah. 25th. All gone. Pick up your Nothing. Yep. Yeah, pick pick up, up your lost stuff. 
We will be gone. All of the items will be donated to local charity. October 26th is the end of the first quarter. Study and keep those grades up. October 27th is no school, but it's a student personal learning day. Oh man, you really killed the vibe there. <laughs> Now over to our new, new segment, segment, Character Awards, Awards with Mr. Stern, Stern and, and Mr. Rodriguez. Good afternoon, Sycamore Nation. Um, Mr. Rodriguez and Mr. Stern here to do our Character Awards. So uh, we just started going into classes last week. Um, I visited Mrs. Dworkin's class. And, and you, I had the privilege of visiting Mrs. Diorio. And we do a program uh, with a different flex bell every week, so eventually we will be coming to your flex bell. And part of that program is giving students the opportunity to nominate um, somebody in the school that they feel has great character. Um, this can be somebody that they are friends with or somebody that they just kind of know from a distance. They don't actually know them as a close friend, but they've seen some of the things that they do and they're really impressed and they want to nominate them. So the nomination that I have today goes to Avery Kelly and it reads, uh, one of the things that I should share, we don't we don't know who nominated these people. Mm -hmm. and there's no place for that person to put their name because it's not really about them. It's really about the person being nominated. So Avery, we, we don't know exactly who nominated you, um, but this is what they have to say. It says, Avery has been so nice ever since I met her. She's honest, creative, a great artist, and always has time to talk. Um, whenever I have no one else to talk to, she is always there. I've always trusted and admired you. So that's a great write-up. There are so many um, really nice adjectives about you. Avery, you're, you're doing a fantastic job. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I had the privilege of meeting uh, Mrs. Dorio's Flex Bell and great group of kids there as well. And the students here uh, nominated a Lucy Bell. So Lucy, uh, this is for you. Uh, Lucy's very kind and generous to me. When I make a mistake, she is always there to compliment something I did great. Even, I thought I liked this part, even yeah. if it, I didn't finish the task, she's there to pick me up. So Lucy Bell, this is out for you. Keep up the good work. Someone has noticed and uh, you've made a difference in their life. Hey, we've got a free one topping Papa John's large pizza for each of you because Papa John's does uh, sponsor our character awards. Hey, we go in the classrooms on Thursdays, but you can make a difference any day of the week. Wow, well, they really did some nice acts of kindness. Birthdays! <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to the students and staff celebrating today. Michaela G. Madison K. Have an awesome day celebrating a special day. Bryson, get off me. That's all we have for our company <laughs> activities today. Stop what you're doing, Sycamore. We need a new Pledge of Allegiance video. If so, if you're interested in filming the Pledge of Allegiance, please email Ms. Jarvis. With the information about your flex class and your teacher. And why you deserve it. Now it's time for the joke of the day. What do lawyers wear to court? I don't know what. Lawsuits! <laughs> <laughs>